I'm okay with that. By the way, who are the great powers of the world right now? Abyssinia, India, Ming, Commonwealth, Hispania, France, Byzantine Empire, and Bengal. The most of the world's major powers are not actually even in Europe. Abyssinia, India, Bengal, and Ming are four of them. Was there actually another one as well? No. But the non-Europeans are doing pretty, pretty well in this uh, grand campaign. We have an extra slot for a soldier. Yes, we do. Or for a military leader. He's a little bit garbage, but we'll, we'll take him for now. And how many troops do you guys have? 33,000? It's not a ton. Looks like you're actually allied to Croatia and to Yursa. Yursa is actually a vassal of Croatia, so they'll probably end up integrating them at some point. I don't know when that's actually going to be, though. And we're going to give all this territory to the Hungarians. So I really don't have any interest in keeping it myself. There's nothing down here that I actually want. Even though, again, we have our permanent claims, I don't think I can just give up the claims. Army drill. I actually basically don't use a drill to function in uh, U4 at all. So I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so we're finished with this fort soon. We can then move our way onto the Byzantine capital of Sofia. I'm not too sure where the Byzantine army actually is. Oh, they're down here actually taking over Croatia's territory in the Middle East. Oh, seems reasonable. Seven, so good coin flip. They didn't get it though, did not get it. Five influence, ten prestige. Ten prestige. Move to Sofia. Transfer this to the Hungarians. Sophia actually might fall rather quickly. Because this is a war, it's against Serbia. It's not actually against the Byzantine. Yeah, it fell incredibly quick. I mean, this whole part of the Byzantine Empire has basically been taken over. I'm not too sure exactly what they're going to do with it. My guess is probably nothing. High prestige or plus one prestige. I'm going to take the plus one prestige. Vladimir is actually going to break their alliance. Because they're actually, they're allied to... Are we worth Vladimir? No. I'm going to give him a gift. Who wants to break alliance? We could make them break their alliance. No, they, they do not want to do this. How much money? Do I have 300 bucks? We're going to give him $175. Okay, it's currently a plus one. I want Vladimir on our side. Okay, you're allied to... No, we're... Because we're allied with their rival. Their rival with our rival. I, might, I wouldn't mind breaking our... Uh, our alliance with you. But I don't think we actually need Sweden. That actually might keep Vladimir on side a little bit longer. I would much rather have Vladimir as an ally than Sweden. But I legitimately do not think that he didn't actually provide any benefit for us. I was just using them as a counter to the Danish. But Denmark ended up completely sucking, so it didn't matter at all. That's long because actually a war with a couple of people. Well, us fallen. Okay, yeah, us fallen is the guy in North Germany. The Byzantines are not looking very hot. There's a lot of people influence. I could use that. All right, let's invest into this. The 20% chance of becoming the next Pope. Oh, 
No, 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 no. You were protecting trade in the Baltic Sea. Oh, because there's a fort here. Go, yeah, go take down the fort. Get our Diplotech up to 11. Back to Hungary. And I feel, how much have we done for the war? Apparently 19%. I think that's completely okay for us to then go back home. I've done what I needed to do. We've basically taken over the entirety of the European holdings of the Byzantine Empire. They're not going to be messing around with us anymore for a long while. We actually even have some rebels up here. With some separatists, actually. But 77%. Rach has some claims. You've got your claims. I'm not too sure really what your plans are. Mine is a one uh, leader. Give me the 10% national tax, man. At so this point, again, the entirety of the Byzantine Empire and the Serbian Empire just decided to go down to freaking Africa and the Middle East to deal with this area. I mean, yeah, there's no actual enemy troops over here. But I don't think it's actually worth that much. Okay, we have also... Less than three years until the Age of Discovery is actually over. We also have 2,000. We have so much Splendor. I don't know if we can really do anything with it, though. Yeah, anything else going on in the world? Not really. And yeah, we can see that you're colonizing. Aquitaine's actually colonized a little bit as well. Danish Columbia is getting some decent land. Apparently, Carib's actually taking land away from them. Which is hilarious. This is getting their colonization done. So, I mean, they're, they're getting some good work done. For sure. one 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 with all of you. Still four years away from our next invasion of Ruthenia. Again, that's the reason I really want to keep Vladimir on side. Just because there'll be another front for Ruthenia to have to deal with. And I wouldn't mind just giving them more lands. Giving them back their cores. Giving them what they want. I see Croatia is now led with a 30,000 stack down here in Jerusalem. But so are you, you're not considered overseas, right? They're not. Because I believe the overseas penalty, it's 90% minimum. Trade power, local tax. I remember exactly where you see 83%. Unless they've changed it, which I don't think they have. Colonial core, 50%. Is that also applied down here? I don't know if there's any actual Europeans. Britannia has a claim down here. Or maybe not. Maybe uh, Tommy works differently than I last checked. Apparently a long while ago. But I mean, we're at 80%. Of course, I don't have any personal wars against Serbia or against the Byzantine Empire. We can't really do anything to peace out. Like, does Croatia have any cores? They got some claims. But that's about it. Bunge is getting annexed by Abyssinia. I mean, I, I guess it did slow Abyssinia's growth. I, I don't think we want to ally with Sweden. It's like, I understand why... We might have strategic interests, both being anti-Danish. But it's not like... I think at this point, me and, Den me and Sweden don't have a reason to really be friends. Like, we can be friendly. We can be on good terms with one another. But not at the level where we need to have an alliance. Apparently, Abyssinia has actually rallied us. Okay, sure. Why, why not? We're actually almost... Power Jackson's almost gone. We could maybe insult... Next, are we still riled with Senia? Yes, we are. Influence Nation, send gifts to your trade. Five Prestige. That actually will not give us any Power Jackson here. Fortunately. We're also rivals with Denmark, but I don't think we can rival them. We can't insult them right now either because we have already have a peace treaty with them. But I think we just need to go to war again. Essentially. 
Okay, the Persian Empire that, for some reason, occupied territory up here is getting occupied by uh, Sunni Zealots. Is there any claims up here? Yeah, I mean, there are some countries that might declare their independence. Ryzen is at war with Vladimir. I'm gonna dissolve our alliance with Ryzen. Still still have a royal marriage with them, though. And I don't think we can really... Br Actually, could we break it if we don't like them? Don't like them. Can you break ties? No. Okay, what happened in this war? A little bit of money was paid out. We got four dockets. 61, aggressive expansion. 18 prestige. Serbia lost two provinces. Byzantine Empire lost four provinces. So Hungary definitely got some decent land out of this war. Owning most of Romania. And a little chunk out of uh, Serbia here. Croatia didn't get their land, but... I don't think we'd be, we should be too surprised by that outcome. And Italy still did not declare their independence. Even though they have incredibly high liberty desire. By the way, Vladimir, you're going to annex Ryzen. You have claims with the entirety of the country. Yeah, you're now once again at war Thames. We'll see if this time you'll actually annex them properly. By the way, where's the Hungarian army? It says they have 30,000 men. I only see a one stack. I don't know where they are. I guess I can send my 30,000 men down here. And I I guess I'll do it just to end this war a little bit faster. We love The Hungarians love us. Of course, you hate us. Our true city expires in about a year and a half. And the Age of Reformation has begun. By the way, how is uh, Protestantism doing? Honestly, not that great. Blasphemy Act, give me more missionary strength. That allowed me to... A little bit, but not too much. Something academies. I will, I will do it. I don't like it, but I'll do it. By the way, do you have any of these done? We actually have two of them done. We almost actually have a third one done as well. Asian trade. All, all provinces of your culture group. Don't own all of those provinces. Win Reformation. You don't have a colonial empire. You do have a unique bonus, though. 33% uh, goods produced. But if you look at our culture, what areas are we actually missing from our culture group? Yeah, we would actually need all Slovak, Czech, Sorbian. There's a lot of land we'd actually need to unify our culture group, and I, I don't think... It's really going to be worthwhile. Okay, so I think the I think the Hungarian army has now actually arrived. We'll keep our army here just for fun. We're also at war with Tyrol. That siege is now over. We can bring our troops back home. I don't think they need to be around here anymore. And they just keep pillaging it. They don't actually siege the core province that they have. They just keep pillaging the area. And I don't really know why. It's a core of yours. You can just take it. You don't need to, you don't need to, you know, do all these little shenanigans. You can just take the province. There's nothing stopping you. I think Sweden also is now going to completely finish their annexation of these areas of Denmark they have claims on. I'm surprised they didn't try to actually move up north. They've actually decided to, to um, ally themselves with some of these northern countries. And I'm not really too sure why. Okay, so France is at war with Hispanolia. Or Hispania, I should say. Because they have a claim here that they're trying to push. Okay. And Castile's also joined the war. They're allied to the French. We'll see how well they can actually do uh, here. We also do need a new rival. I guess we could uh, we could rival Abyssinia. Apparently they have a navy that's almost twice as strong as mine. Bania, Hungary. I guess we'll rival North Germany. That seems okay. 
But again, I guess we have a, we actually have a claim on you. And the, the Holy Roman Emperor wouldn't even actually join. But I would also really like to spend all of my resources killing you and getting all of my claims. But I think I'd rather do the war where I get my claims. And maybe we can give Hungary again some more, uh, more territory. And Vladimir. They did end up piecing out with Ryzen. I guess they didn't really want to take any territory there. High prestige or one prestige. Ah, no. Gain, gain the one prestige. And unfortunately, we did not get the printing press. The printing press did spawn in Paris. Or around Paris, I should say. I was really hoping we'd get it. But, I mean, we already already have some uh, progress here. Global trade. I don't think we're going to get global trade just because Baltic Sea is not really worth that much. I'm assuming the most valuable trade node is um, the English Channel. That's usually one of the more... Actually, can I actually look in the ledger? Trade. Trade nodes. Total value. English Channel. Yeah, basically like I thought. I actually don't know where this trade node is. Close to Coromado. India, actually, the second uh, richest uh, trading zone. This one down here. But the English Channel being number one isn't too surprising. Our truce to use almost expired. Five Diplo. And you're for our air. He needs he needs more military points. Basically garbage on that. And income's looking good. And I think we basically just steamroll our way through Ruthenia. They're twenty two thousand men. They're still out of Thessalonica, but that really shouldn't matter, I believe. Since Thessalonica does not like the Byzantine Empire, I don't think they'd actually give them military access. But on the other hand, we are rivals to the Byzantines, so I'm not actually not too sure what they'll do with Thessalonica. So, anyways, declare war. Rust. Even if I give you land, they would not say yes. Can we good? Give Vladimir some money. Embargo, send gifts, give subsidies. How much money do we make? Nine? Nah, not, not, don't give him any subsidies. We could probably just actually kill him ourselves. We basically are number their entire faction. Oh, so that's for Vladimir. No, I want to attack Ruthenia. Yeah, I'm technically stronger than their entire faction to combined. But I would like at least one ally with us. For some reason, you don't really trust us right now. So I'm going to trade favors for trust. Can't do this again for... Can't do it again. Prepare for war. Let's do, let's do one more trust. And maybe that would be enough for them to... Yeah, they would say yes. for 10 favors. Vladimir would say yes if they just had money. I sent, I've sent them a gift recently. I'm going to send them another gift. Send them like 300 ducats. Maybe they'll use that to pay off some of their debt. There we go. So I think we call both of you guys in. And we just crush Ruthenia a second time. Begin the war. Can I actually train any more units? I probably should check this. Eh, we can get like three more. It's probably not worth it. 
Go castle, castle. I'm gonna get one more general though. Might be over, uh, yeah, leader cap. Don't worry about it too much. Send you here for now. Makes you dot gets 50 50. Are you good? I right, have a strong claim. I mean, our current legitimacy is not great. 182 dock is still actually quite a bit. And it's still a 50 50. Okay, he's dead again. So that's our third heir that we've had die just to random disease. We will go down to speed four just for this war, though. That Salonic is a pretty decent army in the south. Probably can announce her old faith. Get her. Bring one army down south just so we can maybe deal with Thessalonica. You're fighting. Corellia won't be too much of a hassle. Should be okay dealing with that, I would have to imagine. Take over this fort. Our 30,000 stack. We do have a 30,000 stack from Thessalonica. Which is a little worrying, but I'm, I'm not that concerned. Want to get any more of you guys on side? I actually don't think we really need to. 